Hi, welcome to Angela's Anything Show, and we're here in the wilderness of New Hampshire, and I'm gonna try to survive for one day with just the supplies that I have and that I find. Here we go. That's right, folks, so, you know, real life was getting to me and I was just thinking, I need to get out of this you know, this grind, this, you know, news cycle, this government control, mind conspiracy, COVID hoax. So I took to the forest and I am in the great wilderness of New Hampshire. Don't mind the lawnmower noises. That's just the mighty woodpecker. It's a special Northern woodpecker that sounds a lot like a lawnmower. You know, I brought a few things from home and I am gonna scour the land and try to put together a meal. First, I'm gonna show you like what I brought and what I have from home. So I have this pot. I have flint, a flint. I have um, a little hatchet. We all read the book in middle school, okay? And you know, just some more fire starting material. This is um, ancient hemp leaves that I stripped the bark and I blanched it in the sun and now we have something that resembles paper towels. I also went hiking earlier in the terrain and I found some uh, leftover remnants from the last person that was here. Some buns, some hot dog buns, I know, seems very random. And then I also found a hot dog. So I'm assuming that the last party that was here, the last group of explorers, were barbecuing. That would be my guess. Then I also found some more refuse. I don't know, a lot of, there's a lot of yard waste in this area. Um, and I'm hoping that this helps start the fire, okay? And of course I have my trusty dog with me. He is my comfort, he is my support. He is a trained ADA accessibility certified dog, so he is allowed to be with me here on this trip. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is make sure we have enough refuse to start this fire and get it ready. I feel like we can use this to start the fire, but I wanna make sure that I have enough smaller pieces of wood. Like, this is good. This feels wildly unsafe. <laughs> okay. And she's ready. We are gonna build the fire inside of this pot, which washed up on the shores of Southern New Hampshire. Very exciting find, um, and it's gonna keep us safe. And then we can use it later to make bone broth. You guys hear the winds? That's mother nature whispering as winter gets closer. Okay, and then now that we have that, I'm gonna build a shape around it. I'm gonna build a triangle shape around it. All right, I just had to go grab this fox uh, fur vest. This is from a fox that I skinned when I first got out here. Um, skinned it, hung the hide to dry, woven into this magnificent uh, piece of clothing, and it keeps me warm, so thank you, Mother Nature, for that. So, now that I'm all toasty, I think it's time to start dinner. We have our refuse, and we have our flint. So, I think it's as easy as Wait, I'm actually left-handed. Let's try it this way. Nope. Come on, Angie, you're fighting for your life. There we go. Got a flame. <coughs> Lots of flame, a little bit sketched out. Just want to make sure that we are prepared. Oh, God. The winds. The winds are coming. Can't predict something like this when out in the wild. Oh, good. The... Okay, it looks like we have a fire going. I'm going to take this hot dog and this chopstick that I found. Oh, the fire's gone out. Let's put a little more. I mean, I guess technically hot dogs are already cooked, right? There we go. Just 
need some of this wood to catch on fire, you know? It like lights up for a little, but then it just goes out. I guess that's the whole thing, right? I guess we could smoke the hot dog. Get a nice smoke on it. You guys, I did it. I made a hot dog, it's a miracle. Mmm. Mmm. Thanks to this flint, this refuse, I was able to make a hot dog and survive in the wild on my own with my trusty sidekick, of course. It really is that easy, guys. You ever notice hot dog buns get stuck to your front teeth, like the back of your front teeth? Weird, right? Also, when I found this hot dog washed up on the shores of uh, my street corner, it was in a uh, Nathan's wrapper, which we all know is the best. All right, guys, well, thank you for coming along with me on this adventure. And remember, if the chaos of life is getting to you, wrapped outside. See you next time. Goodbye. Okay, so. Those sound a lot like cars, but they're actually a very rare type of bird that emulate the sound of a car, and it's to trick humans into thinking that they're entering civilization. It's like a siren almost, but really they draw them in and then they attack, peck at the eyes. So we really gotta be careful of that.